He had been riding dirt bikes for so long. His best friends all have dirt bikes, and pretty much growing up, we were the hangout place. And I mean, sometimes they'd kick up so much dust, you couldn't even see them, because it, my whole backyard would be nothing but a whirlwind of dust. You're around your buddy's house, and you hear bikes fire up, you're like, oh, hell yeah. There's going to be dirt flying, dust. We're going riding. Yo! Trying to go back to the power line? Get up. Thomas and Tyler head for their favorite dirt bike trail underneath the power lines. Everybody in the neighborhood had bikes, and we always rode out the power lines. There was all kinds of stuff to ride on out there. Hills to climb, and I probably rode that trail a couple times a month. The line is clear. You can feel the machine. It's like man and machine as one. It's freedom. I didn't even know it was private property. Got to put the fix on this little problem right now. The hunters don't want bikers scaring off their game. They block a well-traveled path over their land. You can ride for miles and at full throttle, just balls to the wall. Thomas quickly takes the lead. He was on the 250 and I was on a 450. I couldn't keep up with him. He was he was hauling. straight away that, you know, we always ride wheelies down and, you know, and just go real fast down. I've gone so fast down that straight away, you know, hundreds of times. There's a kind of slight bend in that straight away. You know, I think I was probably fourth gear. his bike straight into the hunter's steel cable, catching it neck first. Once I hit it, I just, I just started fighting for, uh, for air. I got up to where he had hit the cable. Thomas, you all right, man? <laughs> Thomas, you okay, man? He was rolling around on the ground, and I couldn't really see what happened. And then he finally rolled over onto his back, and I could hear the blood gurgling, and that's not a very easy sound to hear coming from your one of your good buddies on the ground. Oh, dude, we gotta get you to the hospital. He kind of brought me back to reality by saying, we gotta, we gotta go, we gotta go. Grab my gut, grab my gut. I told him, get some fat, man, grab a hold of me, get a hold of my gut. 